get back with another video on easy math okay today let's discuss the special series number 2 let's discuss this special series number 3 okay till now we discussed two special series the first one is arithmetic geometric progression and the second one is summation one summation of n summation of n square n cube and all other today let's see special series number 3 that is series with difference in ap difference of terms in an ap common difference in an ap okay maybe we should not call that common difference because there is nothing common in there let's start by an example let's start by an example that we all know pretty well that is the series of squares of natural numbers or 1 comma 4 comma 9 comma 16 comma 25 what will be the next one you know 36 and so on and why i have taken the squares as the series okay not get any other nice idea why i have took square is that actually square or perfect squares are nothing but sum of odd numbers every perfect square can be written as sum of consecutive odd numbers for example if you take 36 you can write that like 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 and so on until when you get 36 so i have taken the perfect squares if you take the difference you will understand 4 minus 1 what is that it is 3 means if you add 3 to 1 you will get 4 it is some means the perfect square 4 is sum of two odd numbers if you take 9 it is 9 minus 4 is 5 means 9 is 4 plus 5 or 1 plus 3 plus 5 it is also sum of three odd numbers similarly 16 minus 9 is 7 and it is sum of it is also sum of 4 odd numbers 25 means sum of 5 odd numbers so i have taken this series of perfect squares as you can see difference is 3 5 7 9 11 okay what is it it is an ap if you observe carefully these are odd numbers odd numbers are nothing but ap arithmetic progression and if you want the general term of this sequence or nth term of this sequence it is a plus n minus 1 by 2 into 2x plus n minus 2 into d where a is the first term in the series x is the first term in the ap or it is a2 minus a1 a2 minus a1 is the first term right and d is the common difference of the ap means a3 minus a2 which is the second term of the ap minus a2 minus a1 means it will become a3 minus 2a2 plus a1 a3 minus 2a2 plus a1 means if you know first three terms of the sequence then you can find its nth term for finding its nth term we need three terms minimum of three terms okay and n where n is the total terms in the series let's see how to derive them because without deriving it will be difficult to understand that okay guys and the other thing is my advice is to all of you is that if you see a new formula don't just buy heart it or don't just understand and learn it try to derive that it will increase your logical thinking Okay, let's see how to derive the nth term in this sequence where the difference is in AP. Let's see that. Okay, first, let us imagine the series is A, A2, A3, A4, A5 and so on until AN where AN is the nth term. Okay, let this be the series. Okay, and let's here a2 minus a1 is x means the difference between second and first terms is x and the difference between third and second terms it should be in ap right 
means some common difference should be added to that x. Let that common difference be d. Then the second term will be x plus d. And a4 minus a3 or third term in that ap is x plus 2d and so on until a n minus a n minus 1 is x plus n minus 2 into d. Right now we need the formula for nth term, right? What if we add them? What will we get if we add them? Here, if you observe carefully, why I have got the idea of adding? Because see here carefully, a2 minus a, right? But in second term we have a3 minus a2. If we add them, plus and minus cancels out, right? That is how I got this idea or any other will get this same idea. So if we add them, you will get all, all the terms cancels out except for a n and minus a in the first term. So you will get a n minus a is equal to x plus x plus d plus x plus 2d plus x plus and so on until x plus n minus 2 into d. Why I have written n minus 2 into d? Because here if you observe in this sum carefully, last term is n minus 2, right? And here this is a AP with first term A, difference D and n minus 1 total terms. Means just the RHS. The RHS is an AP, right? X, X plus D, X plus 2D and so on until X plus n minus 2D. X plus n minus 2D means that is n minus 1 the term, right? So it has n minus 1 terms and first term is x and common difference is d. Okay, if you know the sum of n terms of an AP, it is n into a plus l where a is the first term and l is the last term. Here we have just n minus 2 terms, right? So it is n minus 1 by 2 into x plus l where l is the last term, right? Last term is nothing but x plus n minus 2 into d. If we substitute that, a n minus a is equal to n minus 1 by 2 into x plus x plus n minus 2 into d. Means a n is equal to if we send a to the other side that is a plus n minus 1 by 2 into 2x plus n minus 2 into d. This is the formula for the nth term. Okay, you may think here the nth term the nth term of that series only contains the sum of n terms of an AP. Then what will be the sum of n terms of that series? Okay, probably I will make a new, another video on that because it will become a long video if I add that in this. And in that video you can see how can we derive that. Okay guys, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, ring that bell icon. If not face you, when I release a new video. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll answer them in the next video.